This video clip is for learning target two of graphing linear equations. Be able to graph linear equations using x and y intercepts. The x intercept, when we look at a graph of a line or of any function, the x intercept is the point, it has an xy coordinate, where the graph crosses the x axis. That will have a height of zero. <clears throat> In other words, there's no height going, we don't go up or down from zero, zero to get to the point, we just go to the right or left. So we will find the x-intercept when we plug in zero for the value of y. And of course we'll have to solve. For the x, for the y-intercept, the y-intercept is the point on the graph that crosses the y-axis. And to get to it, we did not go left or right. We had an x value of 0, and then a height that either went up or down to plot the point. So that's where we know the x is 0, and we have to plug in 0 for x to find the y-coordinate. Or substitute 0 in for x. and solve. Well, if we're doing linear equations, a concept in geometry and just a basic concept is that to make a line you need at least two points. If you have two points, they will define the path of the line. So if we have the both the x-intercept and the y-intercept, then we have enough points to to get the sketch of our line. So finding the x and y-intercepts, the graph um, and then graph the equation. In this first example, we have y equals the opposite of 3 halves x plus 6. And so, to find the x-intercept, I'm going to plug 0 in for y. 0 equals negative 3 halves x plus 6. To solve for x, I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. So now I have negative 6 equals negative 3 halves x. To solve for x, I need to undo um, the fraction of negative 3 halves, which is multiplied by x, by multiplying by the reciprocal times negative 2 thirds, or 2 over negative 3, which is equivalent. The 2's will cancel out, the negatives become positive, the 3's cancel out. I now have x equals 12 thirds, which is Next, we're going to find the y-intercept. The y-intercept is a little easier to find for this problem. We're going to plug in 0 for x. So y equals negative 3 halves times 0 is 0 plus 6. Well, this equation is in slope-intercept form, so we should have already known that the y-intercept was 6. So we have 0, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for the y-intercept, and 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and don't go up or down, <clears throat> for our x and y-intercepts. We've stated them right here. Here's our y-intercept, and here's our line. In the next problem, this equation starts out in standard form. Standard form was reviewed in the earlier learning target of graphing linear equations. So, to find the x-intercept, I have to plug in 0 for y. To find the y-intercept, I have to plug in 0 for x and solve. To find the x-intercept, I'm going to plug in 0 for y. I have 3x minus 7 times 0 equals 21. <clears throat> now some teachers and some students use a method called cover-up method when it's in standard form because when you plug in 0 for y, negative 7 times 0 is 0, so really you could just cover up the y variable and its coefficient and solve the remaining equation. So we actually have 3x equals 21. If I divide both sides by 3, x equals 7. 
So my x-intercept is 7, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 0 is right here. For my y-intercept, I plug in 0 for x. 3 times 0 minus 7y equals 21. Again, if it's in standard form, you could use what's called cover-up method because 3 times 0 will be 0. We're left with the equation negative 7y equals 21. Divide by negative 7, y equals negative 3. And then we just connect our points. Take a moment to pause the video and try the next two problems. All right, if you did this correctly, when you plugged in 0 for y, 48 divided by 8 is 6. So your x-intercept should have been 6, 0. When you plug in 0 for y, or for x to find the y-intercept, plug in 0 for x, 48 divided by negative 12, make sure you keep the sign with it, divided by negative 12 is negative 4. So we have 6, 0, and 0, negative 4 for our x and y-intercepts, and they form a line. And letter B, it's not in standard form. I could change the equation to standard form real quick to make it a little easier by subtracting the 4y from both sides. You did not have to do it this way. When I cover up the y variable because I've plugged in 0 for y to find the x-intercept, negative 36 divided by 3 is negative 12. For the y-intercept, negative 36 divided by negative 4 is positive 9. So when I, or sorry, for the x, for the y-intercept, I plugged in 0 for x. So here's our x and y-intercept. <clears throat> the problem is our graph only goes to 8. But we could scale this differently. We could scale it by 2s if we wanted, or by 3s. By 3s might work. I'm going to scale this axis by 3 and this axis by 3, which means that this is 3, 6, 9, 12, but I need negative 12, 0, so negative 3, negative 6, negative 9, negative 12. And my y-intercept is 0, 9, so I can go 3, 6, 9. And there's my graph. But I have to make note that those were scaled by 3. In other words, this is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. This concludes learning target 2 graphing by finding the x and y intercepts.